the 1999 amendment did affect our family. Um, we didn't think it would at first, but then um, when our nephew, Travis Perizou, tried to enroll his daughter, Sydney, he was denied. And that was the first that we found out that it was going to affect us. And that was pretty devastating for them and for the whole family. A lot of tears were shed and a lot, it was a very sad time for us because then we found out no children after that would be enrolled. Plus, we did find out that some of our children were going to be disenrolled, and that did happen. I hope this amendment passes because I feel it would make our family whole again. Sorry. <laughs> I get very emotional because we lost our brother. He was very young, and I promised him that I would help take care of his kids. And now it's his grandkids, and I feel like this, this is so wrong what happened to them. But we did do something really good. His name is on the Veterans Memorial. And that was so important to those children. They drove out here all the way to Wyoming, from Wyoming to be there for that. And they know his name is there, and they know that his name is also on one of the bricks by the medical center because we all went together and bought it. Because we knew that he would want that. So those grandchildren of his, they need to be enrolled. They need to be enrolled to carry on his legacy.